Agadan. Bidan Raganya. Albaka. Back and cordon. Yo, not transfer us. Yeah, transfer us. Have code in you. Okay. What's that? You see, like this sort of. Ah, that's a good one. Sorry. Agadan. Bidan, bro. Albaka. Albaka. But I'll last have this water. Ah, but no more Kijan and Kunu Barataria. Ah, Jano, you are not forest de Biro. Gambia Tonkona Lombaria Bir. Ah. Bring coin of for carton. But is it called you know carton? For bottom blabe. Fifty six branches smaller so the Gambia jam. Ah? Ka. Gambia kono aring Gambia bankala bankol. Unka kono kia beret. Kono sifa sifa for falindiro for nyadi lafta meme na kodi topoto nung kodi maro. Jam num number one in yonda. And num for another another enterprise is sotali. Bottom bottom nindi ko domoro for nung kodi for nambe fira le le daddy man in domoro nindi for nambe teat. Gambia dau da ya longa kumfa kendo soda leji. Ha, e wamo e odiya. Ha, afelenda. Ni wamo kani ni malafta ni elen kendo lebi na. Ya lebu kani la kuol la baraka. Ha, ya londel chosa no lo. La baraka. Investment is here for you. Secure our quality bungalows with two, three, or four bedrooms, or our story buildings, three or four to five bedrooms at very affordable prices with flexible payment plans at our Sanyang Sea View Estate, where you can enjoy the cool breeze with modern infrastructure such as the roads, covered drainage system, modern electrification with street lights, gated entrance with security posts, and social amenities such as gas station. Shopping mall, medical clinic, park, schools, children daycare, and a lot more. Our dedicated team of professionals will keep the estate clean at all times. Provide security and patrol team within the estate premises. Install latest technologies such as CCTV, Wi-Fi, home network installation, solar panel and power backup systems. Also, check out for our additional home facilities and interior design service, such as premium tiling, wall plaster, home landscape, fingerprint home lock, and a lot more. Visit our office at Senegambia Kululi Highway and get a free site visit tour or contact us on 4464-838. WhatsApp us on 3259-220. Or you can visit our Facebook page or Instagram on EJ Investments. EJ Investments, we are first in properties. When we touch down, but I broke down. Gamtel G Fiber, now you can enjoy super fast internet in gigabytes. G Fiber is affordable, stable, secured, and accessible to homes, businesses, and enterprises. With Gamtel G Fiber, the future is speed. Gamtel, creating a brighter future in communication. him that the last time he sent the money it was not enough to buy all the provisions oh sorry i forgot to tell him are you guys talking about money transfer to buy provisions yes, yes. but don't you know about baluo baluo what is baluo baluo is a service that your son can use to send provisions directly to you guys from the shop and you don't have to worry about the exchange rate. Tell me how Baluo works. It's very simple. Just log on to baluo.com and shop or download the app on your phone. You can shop on the website or using the app to buy online basic products for your family and friends. With Baluo, you decide what your money is spent on. Your money, your choice. Buy online products for your family and friends in the Gambia, Senegal, Nigeria or Mali. Baluo, better than sending money.
Hello and welcome to The Brunch on Kerfatu Life. I'm Lamin Cham. And thank you very much for watching us from wherever you may be. Um, thank you very much for joining us. Um, this week, of course, the biggest topic is uh, the constitutional talks in Abuja, Nigeria, and the way forward. Now, about a dozen representatives of political parties, civic society, Organizations were in Abuja, Nigeria, at the invitation of the Good Luck Jonathan Foundation and International Idea Group, who are mediating um, between among Gambian stakeholders for, for the uh, reintroduction of the draft constitution into the National Assembly. There have been two rounds of talks here in Banjul, with Jonathan presenting, and the third one happened last week in Abuja. But again, not to sugarcoat. Um, the deliberations, as the politicians would do, there does not seem to be a complete consensus on the constitution. So the delegates are back in Banjul waiting for President Jonathan to come in March for what everybody hopes perhaps will be the final nail in the negotiation process. Now, Honorable Sidin Jai was there. He was representing the National People's Party. He's in there, here with me in the studio. And I have also an independent observer of the scenes uh, uh, in the Electoral of Political Science at the University of the Gambia, Seth Matija, whom I drag uh, basically from a UTG convoc <laughs> convocation program. So, gentlemen, welcome to the program. Uh, Siri? Thank you welcome. very much. Uh, thank you. Jao? Yeah, thank you, Lamin. I'm Let's go to the drawing board. When you people went to Nigeria, the first foremost things that was in the minds of the Gambians is that. Well, your trip was not necessary. Um, secondly, um, you know, you did not actually agree or you did not achieve what the meeting asked for. Now, would you, why would you say that it was necessary and legitimate for you to go to Abuja? Um, thank you very much, uh, Lamin Cham. I may not want to be drawn into those uh, exchanges, mm -hmm. but I would say that uh, those who probably uh, are on the other side will have uh, their own. Uh, I'm talking about the delegates. Yeah, the, I'm coming. The trip to yeah, no, no, Abuja. Yeah, that's what Not I'm particularly you, but no, 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 no. no. Yeah. I, it's general. I mean, okay. I mean, those who are on the other uh, yeah. side, they mm. have they are entitled on mm. to their opinion, but that doesn't make their opinion right. Exactly. Uh, for me, I think uh, the trip was necessary and it was important. Mm -hmm. uh, who paid for the trip? Considering the, the fact that President Goodluck Jonathan um, team. We were here, for, of course, uh, twice. We were here in December mm -hmm. and in January uh, also. Mm -hmm. So for us to go to Nigeria mm -hmm. to continue the discussions, uh, it was uh, really uh, important because mm -hmm. uh, we to have all stakeholders uh, in the same place. Mm -hmm. uh, there wouldn't be enough room to maneuver to be going in and out of town mm -hmm. uh, for other errands. So I think it was necessary. But Nonetheless, they entitled their opinion, but it doesn't mean make their opinion right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, it, it wasn't financed by government. It yeah. wasn't financed by taxpayers' money, <laughs> but by the international idea. Idea, okay. And the good logical transfer. Now, um, once you got there, uh, Nigeria, you said, of course, the, the venue for the discussions doesn't matter. What happened is that you think the process is still legitimate. Yet, you did not come out with the desired outcome. Yes, you know, the objective of the constitutional talks, you know, uh, of course, we all know in 2020, there have been um, uh, still made, uh, of course, the constitution died on arrival at the National Assembly, and uh, mainly uh, political reasons. So these are political issues, and you needed the proti various political parties and stakeholders to come together and trust out uh, the political differences in order to come up with a consensus. Mm -hmm. uh, the objective is to have a consensus, mm -hmm. but not probably voting or going for elections, majority and the minority. Mm -hmm. No, it's to have everybody on board. Mm -hmm. Because uh, to, when to have uh, a new constitution, mm -hmm. you, you know, there are a lot of process that the draft need to go through. Among them is the referendum. Mm -hmm. And that uh, the threshold for the referendum is such that you need consensus. You mm -hmm. need all political parties and stakeholders on board. On board. Yeah. Because for it to pass, yes, you need one need 
fifty uh, percent of the registered voters, voters to most vote. Votes, most vote for it. One day, once they vote, seventy-five percent of those of, of who those voted votes cast, must, uh, must say yes. Must say yes. So therefore, so you need say, to involve a lot of political. Uh, exactly. So we were there to continue on the discussion, mm. and of course, uh, it was frank and uh, progress were made, mm. and. Uh, uh, um, as we, uh, of course, those political leaders who even spoke to journalists at the airport, mm. almost all, all the political parties who were represented except one mm. agreed on all the you, you know, You know the politicians, so, when they came, they all took on a diplomatic posture. <laughs> they all become yes, diplomats. We, yes, we are very hopeful about this and yes, this. We are, well, actually... No, we are hopeful because, you know, we, you know when you are negotiating, mm -hmm. you may not want to uh, probably let the card out of the bag <laughs> because yes. we want everybody on board. It's mm -hmm. not time for blame game. Mm -hmm. It's time to bring everybody together mm -hmm. and see the way forward. Mm -hmm. uh, when uh, once you're looking for that, mm -hmm. you may not have, you may not necessarily, necessarily and in fact it's not necessary to, to, oppose on, to oppose on blames yes, or name names. On blame. so Therefore then diplomacy will, yeah, play, will play until play. such a time. That's when, what I observed. when they came, they all turned to become diplomats. Um, they all said, well, you know, negotiations are going on. We, we, we cannot say it has failed. Well, actually, you, you No, it haven't failed. It haven't failed. <laughs> but it at least, failed. They want, you cannot change the fact that you did not agree on anything in Abuja. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, but it haven't failed. Uh, progress have been no, made. No, the Abuja they, meeting... The Abuja has, meeting... Has not achieved. No, the right. Abuja meeting achieved a lot. Because, ah, okay. because there are some political parties who had some, you know, uh -huh. differences on some oh, issues. But, but the meeting made them to understand. But, but, but in, in Abuja, uh, all the political parties, mm -hmm. you know, uh, you know, they, they try the to trade in and move from one position to another to towards uh, the, at the end of the tunnel. Okay, we, we will come to attack him from his diplomatic position to, <laughs> to spill the beans. <laughs> but uh, what, is, what are your observations? Yeah, <laughs> I think um, um, for me, uh, but first, I just want to congratulate the students that are graduating today. Yeah, today um, yes. Unfortunately, <laughs> that I'm not here because this issue is also very important. important yeah. um, but I think at this minute, we are at a very critical juncture mm -hmm. in the history of our country. And um, I think uh, the only way forward is uh, the, the kind of processes that we have also initiated. Of course, there are different ways to, um, to address our current situation, but at the end of the day, all actors, particularly the political leaders, mm -hmm. must sit and, and discuss. And um, I was fortunate to be part of the initial discussions that mm -hmm. were here. In exactly. This yeah. And I, I think from the from the onset, mm -hmm. um, I was a little bit skeptical. But then when I attended that dinner and then I heard all these political leaders spoke, I said this was a good thing mm -hmm. because at least they were able to all of them um, express their grievances, their different issues. You know, we can blame each other until tomorrow, but that, at the end of the day, that will not solve anything. So for me, my posture has been, how do we move forward from this current situation where we are, given that there are different options that we can that we can explore. So one of the things that we have missed, and I think this process um, is bringing out, is the fact that our political leaders for the first time are able to sit around a table, even though yet they haven't agreed on a way forward mm -hmm. and um, I, I, I think the subsequent meetings uh, would, would would set light on that mm -hmm. and so for me I will wait until the return the, 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 the president, time, yeah, for, president for Jonathan, Jonathan. Mm -hmm. to see and then to effectively say whether this process has been um, really effective in terms of the outcome that we want which is a decision about the way forward for this country whether we're going to have a new constitution or not because that's the decision that the political leaders have to make and they have to make it for us now let's let me just briefly summarize what uh, the honorable mama Kande said when he arrived at the airport he said well uh, he, he he also turned into a diplomat he said the negotiation really in, in 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 nigeria was very very valid because when you are working for the interests of the country wherever you are called you should not have any issues in attending that's because it's for the national interest he disagreed that uh, you know the talks uh, uh, really collapsed even though he admitted that there was there are still um, uh, things that are not yet uh, agreed upon but he said uh, i mean he took swipes he, he criticized the government for uh, what he called it creating the, the whole mess he said and i quote that when this draft was defeated in in in, in parliament the president and his sympathizers were celebrating. Mm -hmm. So, Mr. Njai, how do you now reconcile uh, these two? You were celebrating when it was defeated in parliament. Now you seem to be more keen, even keener, in bringing it back. No, I think uh, that was in 
correct. Um, but that's what Honorable Mama Gandhi said. I am not aware of. He uh, said it's uh, to journalists. Yeah, that's what he said. You know, people have right and yeah, are entitled yeah. to their opinion, especially in democracy. Yeah. Um, I have not uh, come across any celebrations uh, member of the National People's Party mm. uh, who of no course, sympathizers of the government in the National Assembly. We are celebrating. Oh well, he talks about we it. That. Yeah, he talks about the National Assembly, but yeah. um, or not uh, NPP people. Uh, yeah, because oh, as the, a party. the National Assembly uh, is in okay. there. Yeah. And the, as a party and those who are allied or aides to the president, mm. we are never in a... We are never part. So those, uh, so those who are surrounding know, the president... Uh, if, if he thinks there are cross-section of Gambian, for example, you know, mm -hmm. uh, when in terms of um, uh, uh, only politics but religion, mm -hmm. there are many Gambians mm -hmm. and in terms of other clauses who disagrees with, mm -hmm. the, with the draft. Okay. Okay. So they so, might not so necessarily, the, the they might not necessarily yeah. in support of okay. NPP or President okay, Adam okay. Okay. They, they may have their own in issues. Fact, in fact, for example, mm -hmm. we have two members of parliament who mm -hmm. from GDC. GDC, mm -hmm. there are four. Yes. Two of them voted against and two voted for. Four, yes. So, and they are not NPP members okay. of parliament. So, so in other words, uh, there's this diversity. There are many people who celebrated not because they, uh, it was defeated, but they had their own misgivings. Exactly. About because, it. you know, you were here, you saw, for example, the members mm -hmm. of the Christian community. Yes. They, they were they, saying, they said they are going to against, yes, they yes, vote right. against the draft yes, because yes, of this, yes. so and so. so, and you, so. you may not know who among them is supporting UDP, mm. APP. PRC, NCP, okay. NPP, and okay. so you have also other members of the Muslim Christi uh, community mm -hmm. who saying if you put in the how they call it the secularism or so, and also they have said there are certain provision, there are issues with that. Mm -hmm. There are also of course members of the communities who thought that, mm -hmm. of course, others said it was the consultation was white. You know, there's this opinion who school of thought who said no. When you say white, mm -hmm. tell me for example in Nyanija, mm -hmm. where you have more than ten thousand people, mm -hmm. have you consulted one thousand people in Nyanija? Is mm -hmm. that the majority of the people of Nyanija? Mm -hmm. So you know these are the argument mm -hmm. or, or people are bringing forward. Mm -hmm. For example, there are certain provisions in the draft. Mm -hmm. When you go to the explanatory note, they say at the pattern of Gambian wanted this, but in the draft, they mm -hmm. brought the opposite. Okay. So, you know, it's not about uh, whether you support uh, Baro or mm -hmm. Dabo or Kande that probably you... Well, it was a general feeling that uh, well, President Baro had been accused of masterminding the defeat of the uh, draft in the parliament, and his people people sympathetic to him we are celebrating no, no, we because, saw that no because of yeah, his I think, I think the issue was uh, i think he was referring to the when the vote was taken in parliament, in parliament. I yes there were people parliament. celebrating so but that was a parliamentarian yeah mostly parliamentarians yeah, yeah. but you know it was the euphoria it was the euphoria and, and the excitement yeah, the, yeah and then you so know it does not necessarily yeah. reflect the feeling no you know uh, you know between the president and his allies no, and government no you know globally when parliamentarians uh, mm -hmm. have a uh, hot Cake yeah, yeah. And political the, the table. <laughs> yeah, yeah. and then of course of at the end of the fourth yeah, orders, will, and they, yeah. orders will celebrate yeah. orders will quarrel and cry and start we would want to exchange into fist fight exactly. yes, yes. so but nonetheless we uh, you know from the onset yeah. uh, you know even when he received the draft mm. Adam Barrow is committed mm. you know and this process mm. we want to give it a chance we are committed okay. to the process so there's only one key problem now everybody agreed now the only problem now is the retroactive uh, application of the cross in there. From what you people, what we gathered from Abuja and from the sources from all of you who went there, all the parties except, you don't name it, I will name it the UDP, uh, are the people who oppose to changing, uh, or rather to maintain, uh, maintaining the clause, uh, rather to change it to, uh, for, so that the president's term could start, the two term could start next, next term and not this one. That remains the bone of contention. You you, you, you stop short of naming uh, the problem, but it is UDP. So far, we have not had anything from the UDP. We only got to know from the rhetorics from their supporters that, yes, that might be the case there. But there were other issues as So what was the consensus as to how to bring the document back to Parliament? Well, you know, um, this is a process, mm -hmm. and uh, the process will continue in Banjul here uh, from the 8th of March, inshallah. Mm -hmm. So we are still on the negotiation, and uh, I, I you face you had face to face with all the delegates among yourself. Everybody, yes. You engaged uh, lawyer Dabo of UDP. Everybody was. You engaged. Everybody was. What was his argument? Um, no, I, 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 I wouldn't want to... You don't want to go into that. So they're all diplomats. <laughs> they don't want to. Yes. I, I, let's give the chance. Let's yes. Give the you, chance. you engage each other. Let's that was give good. the chance. Yes. Huh? Let's give the chance. Let's chance. give the chance. Yes. That's why I said, like, um, you know, despite what the outcome of these discussions are going to be, at least for me, 
personally I've seen that you know they're able to say how they're yes, gonna go about that yeah. yeah because at, at least uh, you see it, it, peace need investment and the only way we can invest in peace is to sit and discuss um, this has been the traditional way here and that and so that's the that's one point that I want to um, that I want to highlight as to the importance of this talk mm. but at the end of the day mm. at the end of the day we generally know what the Gambians want. Mm. The Gambians want to move from where they are mm. to a new situation. And for me, that's why I keep continuing to say the decision is in the hands of the political leaders. Mm. The reason why we are here today is because one opposed something else. We are here again because one also is trying to oppose another point. Mm. And, and so at some point, they have to agree as to which is the way forward because that's what the country needs right now. So um, some of us will just continue to say this is what we want. But at the end of the day, the people that make the political decisions are the political parties. And if the political parties agree and compromise and then that, you know, guarantee that if the bill gets back to parliament, it will follow the due procedures that it's supposed to, like going back, having the committees having to the go committees through, through it, engaging the public again. But then my biggest fear uh, with all these discussions <laughs> is the timeline. I mean, I think there is a need for clarity, but uh, as to, you know, um, whether it's possible to have a new constitution right now or not. I remember the other time when we had a multi-stakeholder dialogue, mm -hmm. uh, which is built on the ongoing process. The, the Solicitor General did hint that, of course, they are following these procedures, but of course, there's a possibility that they might not meet the, the timeline. So those factors are, are of the essence and they are time bound. And so I think part of the discussion also should realistically look at that. Because for me, at this minute, if we don't have a constitution at this minute, we will never have a constitution in this country again, especially a new constitution and all these discussions around um, you know, moving forward with a new Gambia might not be even possible. So political leaders must um, be open, must be transparent. Government, of course, must be. And one of the reasons why we also see these discussions around, oh, they should not have gone to Abuja, all that, there needs to be constant communication from government. Mm -hmm. And then fact, you tell public you what there, is happening. Okay, hardly anybody knows Yeah, that. it just you like just they wake up and, and then just and left. And then you just flew out. You know? they, I mean, they, nobody, was com nobody would know yeah. what was happening. People want to be part no, of the process. People wanted you know? to be part of the process. But yeah, you, I th yeah, you I just, uh, all of you, suddenly we had you on the plane at all, all the <laughs> airport and all the things. I mean, <laughs> yes, you know, I think uh, maybe they have a reason. For but you suddenly must have been contacted by uh, Jonathan's foundation of course, a week know. or so earlier. Yeah, yes, but I think probably maybe. And I understand uh, some parties didn't even go because they probably did not open their mail in time <laughs> <laughs> for their tickets. <laughs> Yeah, I think um, there should have been probably a press release to, come in to inform Gambians that uh, mm. a political party representative or leaders uh, departed for Abuja to continue the talks. And um, so uh, at the end of the day, they will also come up with a, a press release informing no. okay. Gambian that... Uh, uh, Even the, all of the delegation together? Yeah, maybe no. the organizers, I mean, they organizers, can probably yeah, they inform Gambians that we were in Abuja and talks continues here in Banjul. Okay. Uh, uh, maybe also uh, one reason probably could be not to have other, other forces behind the scene who might discourage one or two political parties or not to go and it might uh, only uh, uh, add negative to the, the Okay, discussion. let's consider these two things. I mean, in, the, in, the, in September last year when the draft was defeated in Parliament, everybody criticized the government accuse them of masterminding it. They are to blame if the country doesn't have a constitution. Now it looks like the blame shifting onto the UDP. Um, what makes it difficult now since the talks, since they returned from the talks, the UDP had declined to make any comment on, on the matter. Um, but it looks like now uh, if all the, if, if as indications are that all these parties in Abuja have agreed now to leave with the clause on the President's term, except UDP. Don't you think there'll be a blame here? And the UDP might be blamed for 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 uh, for, for being the only obstacle now when all the others uh, have agreed. Of course, of course, they will always argue that it was the like Mama Kenne said, like it was the it was the government who started the, the whole mess. 
<laughs> I mean, you, you, you just reminded me of a conversation that I have with one of my friends in parliament, um, especially when the discussion started. And uh, our, our engagement was that the table have turned now. Mm, yes. Um, before, you know, they yeah. were the ones that wanted the constitution. Yes. And you said no. Now you, you want now, the constitution. Yeah, they also say no. Said no. I mean, I mean, <laughs> yeah. So the, the issue is for me, that's why I said, like, yeah. um, everybody have the right to take their position. Exactly. I mean, we don't need to, of course, people, when people take their position, it's their position. Mm. I don't think we need to blame. And also and say pride they are comes into this. Thing. Like, for example, uh, okay, you, you, like what happened, UDP may be justified that, look, these people are the first people who, who you know, did not want the constitution. Yeah, yeah. Now they come to want it uh, almost desperately. We should take our stand and and uh, you know and refuse to go with them. You know to pride, to show pride and ego and other things. So I mean, politics is about you know also trying to, trying to yeah, show mind and you know at, yeah. at least of course right now we know that there are two main camps. Yes, and yes. one is more on the on 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 Barra's side, and we mm. know uh, UDP's position. But, but do then, you think the the next talks, if if, if Barrow can be like if Jonathan is able to bring Barrow himself to the table with Dabo, you think you think that it might work? I is, think is this on the pipeline? Could this is this possible? Oh well, I I remember when Obasanjo came here at the head of the Commonwealth, he yeah. he wanted to talk between the political parties. President Jamek turned up there in the, at the Cairo. Yeah, I was know, there. Yeah, you know when uh, Jonathan was here in uh, December and he met uh, President Barrow, mm -hmm. we were in URR. Mm -hmm. And uh, even his last visit, also in January, he met President Barrow. So, who, who, who you mean, Jonathan? Jonathan, yes. yes I and that. he met also uh, all the. Yeah, but what I mean is, in, maybe for bring them together. Yes, that's right. Um, Wouldn't that well, work? Like, if the president himself appeared in the negotiation table, well, well, you then know, that probably can break new new ground. Well, you know, at NPP, we believe in representation. Mm -hmm. And uh, President Barrow and his uh, party mm -hmm. uh, want to uh, instill a sense of democracy in this country in the country mm -hmm. so a search for whosoever represent he, he him. would not he will definitely no, no. not uh, no no i mean no no i mean a search whosoever represent him anyway mm -hmm. you, but do you think you he are there be, with authority but knowing him and walking around enter, him, do, you, enter do you think he will take the idea to come himself to the negotiations no you know president Aram Barrow, he is he will always be ready to he's come. very simple and he's committed to the national cause that mm -hmm. is the reason why we've been on this uh, engagement since i remember we were on the tour mm. and i have to leave and come and join the negotiation, negotiation yeah. and he also suspended some of the meeting to meet jonathan and others that mm. shows how committed to the cause he is mm. and uh, uh, to meet anybody he depending on his schedule mm. uh, he, he 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 may not mind but uh, as representative of the NPP, we are empowered to negotiate, and that has been uh, going on. And Alhamdulillah, now everybody uh, is on the same wavelength uh, with our position, and the position of the country. <laughs> so we 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 are looking for. Let's, let's, let's go into the nitty gritties. Um, the retroactive cross, <coughs> presidents, supporters, and sympathizers, and, and maybe some people who who may be quite independent and are okay with the law, says it seems to target the sitting president, you know. Um, it, it, it's, it's almost certainly target the sitting president and therefore it's discriminatory. And no law should definitely be promulgated to target an individual. Mm -hmm. That's the argument mm -hmm. uh, of the people who think that the retroactive clause there should not stay. All right. The argument on the other side is that, uh, look, the overall aspirations of Gambians through the CRC consultation was that the president that succeeds Jambe should be one who should set an example and ensure that his term does not pass 10 years. <laughs> so, uh, and then of course, there's this also argument in between the people who are watching this who said, look, maybe this, they address this to people like UDP who, who, who didn't like, um, you know, who, who, who wanted to maintain that. If you are sure that you are going to defeat the president in 2021 December, why are you worried with uh, him trying to stay, claiming that I want to stay for 100 years, when you can knock him out in eight months' time? But then the UDP delegates may agree, okay, that may say, okay, no, we want to have it in the law, so that whether or not he's defeated, we know that uh, the law stays. There. So these are the arguments. Mm -hmm. I think I think all positions. If you if you look at it, you see that they have some. Um, 
you know, very good arguments mm. in, in terms of but how far the, the context are, are the arguments do you think how potentially can they be can, they, the, can, can there the, be agreements you, you're looking at these two positions no i think at the end of the day you know this is this is not the um I, i'm not a legal person yeah, yeah. but i think these are more like a political um mm. is about political will mm. about who's gonna throw in the towel or who's gonna provide that environment for this country to move mm. and i think that's why people are calling on president Barrow, given the fact that he was the one that um promised a new constitution he was the one that um said he was going to serve for three years mm -hmm. through a transitional process mm -hmm. and if you look at the constitution and i think one of my colleagues SNJ, was saying that and i think in the in our analysis we tend to forget about that mm -hmm. that the, the if you look at the the, the context mm -hmm. or the, the nature of the constitution also um there's a foundation that is laid within the current uh, transitional process that we we're looking at mm -hmm. because the process was supposed to the constitution was supposed to help end the transition and sit us into a new democratic a new, yeah. a new democratic society mm -hmm. so for me at some point i said of course we need somebody to to cut the ribbon mm -hmm. and the 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 one that should have done that mm -hmm. effectively and you know not to create this choice mm -hmm. this this discussions mm -hmm. could have been president Barrow. Mm -hmm. but of course um you know the considerations are are, are, are many mm -hmm. and for me that's why i just don't want to because i know all these people they have their own positions that's why i want them to um, decide mm -hmm. you know i've given them that task as a citizen so that they can decide as to the best um feature of this country but the 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 issue for me is that if we miss all these issues of retroactivity and all those things um whether we looked at it from the 1997 constitution whether the new draft constitution it might always come up even if we go to elections um without a new constitution these things and and the next government tries to work on a new constitution this issue might come up again so at some point we need to take a decisive decision who's going to do that who's going to delo in jukal gambia exactly. you know it needs to be needs to be there and for me i think the focus mm -hmm. the focus of this country now is to how to either get a new constitution or if that is not possible to see how best we can expand the 1997 constitution to ensure that going to the 2021 election we go in an environment where certain basic guarantees are, are, are established but these are decisions that we need to take collectively as a country but it must be spearheaded by the political leadership but for me i would you know it doesn't matter who say okay i'm gonna give up whether but, but for me what i want is a new constitution mm -hmm. so at least let them you know sit arrange and they know each other yeah you know oh, yes. MP mpp is committed to, to uh, term limit mm -hmm. and also it's com course, committed, nobody, nobody it's committed to the to the, the 50 pa to the 50 percent to the 50 percent the, the issue is the when it will start it's also committed to the 50 percent plus one yeah, the you know majority. yes you know um there are a lot of pundits mm -hmm. but also mm -hmm. uh the best practice mm -hmm. and of course it's uh, when one's acquired uh, acquired a right mm -hmm. You know, it might be difficult to deny the person, as you were in, uh, as you indicated. Mm -hmm. it, it it would have been as good as saying in that provision mm -hmm. that President Adam Barrow will be power from contesting elections. Mm -hmm. Simple, yeah. instead of when his term was count from 2021. <laughs> okay. Because we've seen people, for example, the uh, Doyan leader of the UDP, who indicated that uh, that agreement defied logic, defy any legal uh, 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 threshold. Mm -hmm to stand the test of time and that um, it won't hold because we must respect constitutional provisions, we must respect uh, best practice. So here uh, it's still uh, the same. But I, I, I think I will want to highlight something here. Mm -hmm. You see, there is one thing, that we, don't, we shouldn't forget where we are. We are in a, tran if we, well, some are saying that we have deferred our transition, but we are in a transition. And transitions also requires um, people um, trading, you know, in terms of the because at the end of the day is about who's gonna get the power, you know, whether it's UDP wanting that, um, Barrow wanting that, APRC wanting that, others trying to compromise to get that. It's people wanting things that they want to get. But let us not forget that we are in a transition, and the idea of a transition is to shift from where we are to that. And most of the decisions that have been made as and made as a electoral promises were also political decisions. These are decisions that, okay, we have taken the step to move from one stage of our development to the next stage, you know, using this bridge as a new constitution. So people should not also forget about that transitional exactly. nature because it also um, kind of add to the, to the body politics. And, you know, if we do not look at it 
critically. Mm -hmm. We might just create more issues and, and, and that might be problematic. Now, over the last uh, minute, we received information that the UDP act has actually spoken in a tweet. They said, parties have considered to the idea of changes to be made to the draft before its resubmission in Parliament. But officials of UDP Gambia has rejected that idea and wants the draft to remain unaltered and be taken to Parliament as it is. <coughs> yes. Um, that, you, you refuse to go into the details. No, I am, I, am, I, am, I am not going into detail. You, are, you I refuse am not, to attack today. No, I, I, I am not going into detail. <laughs> Why until, you refuse to attack today? No, I, 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 won't, I won't do You're that. You've diplomatic. I won't do that. Really, I would allow the organizers <laughs> to come with something. But what I'm saying is that yeah. it defied logic. Mm -hmm. So that we were in a stalemate. Mm -hmm. The draft was presented as it is to Parliament. Mm -hmm. And in that form, it died on arrival mm -hmm. because of what's there. And there was a need, a genuine need, mm -hmm. for political solution, settlement. Because the political issues and negotiations have been held in the Gambia here and up to Abuja. It is only irrational mm -hmm. to think that way the draft should go as it was mm -hmm. to Parliament. Mm -hmm. Then that means you are wasting people's time, wasting resources, wasting energy, and playing games. So but, we. But, but is, is it not, not the position of Doi too? No, 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 you know, the position of Doid, I'm not so, but I heard them say they wanted a parliament could rescind their yes, decision they, they because I think. Come back so yeah, that it can be discussed. Like yeah, that. what the Doid position was parliament to rescind yes. their decision and, yes, con, and, and look call at, it back. Yeah, let me come in. They never said anything should be changed. Did they say that? No, let me come in. Yeah, yeah parliament to rescind their decision and yes. then look at the. And, the, the it, and bring it back. Yeah. Yeah, you know, if you are in, uh, my understanding is mm -hmm. when the, if the session is on. And this thing may end up in what Doi has said in the no, first place, that no, no, we don't need to go to Abuja and other places. No, let me come in. We can sort this out of ourselves. No, let me come in. I think, you know, when the, I'm not so uh, about the procedure, uh, mm -hmm. about the standing, the new standing order plan, but probably I thought when the parliament is in session, mm -hmm. they could probably rescind their decision yes. and look at it. Yes. But now that uh, that session is over since 2020, mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, the, there are a lot of agreement, mm -hmm. but I, was, uh, I want people to tell me mm -hmm. the constitutional provision which uh, state that uh, a bill owned by either a member as a private member built mm -hmm. or owned by the executive. Mm -hmm. You know, these are the two yes, ways of introducing ways a bill to parliament. Mm -hmm. The Gambia government, the executive, contacted the CRC mm -hmm. to do them a job. Mm -hmm. And that job has been completed and the CRC is normal. Mm -hmm. Now, the draft went to Parliament during that period, after it, it died mm -hmm. on arrival. Mm -hmm. After two months or one month or so, CRC is over, it's normal. Mm -hmm. That bill is still the property of the executive. Mm -hmm. My own understanding, mm -hmm. that is their property. Mm -hmm. Because if they want to, uh, the, 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 the bill to pass, they need to engage all political parties, because it's a political uh, issue. Mm -hmm. Now, if these political parties come together and agree mm -hmm. on some amendment, mm -hmm. It's only defied logic mm -hmm. to say that the executive who are the owners of that bill mm -hmm. cannot input mm -hmm. those amendments as agreed mm -hmm. by all political parties, by extension by every Gambian, mm -hmm. because we are divided among these political parties, mm -hmm. to represent it in the parliament. Mm -hmm. Nobody could persuade me not to believe in that dictum. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. you are telling me mm -hmm. that, okay, whatever we agreed, let's agree. Mm -hmm. But let's just follow, follow on law. Let's just take it as it was, mm -hmm. and this is just a. Maybe a, if it gets to the. Point, no, let me come in. There, there can no, be no, 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 let me come in. Let me finish, sir. Uh -huh. There can be changes such as. No, no, no let me finish, sir. Uh -huh. Let's 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 just uh, play games, mm -hmm. bed and wait mm -hmm. here. Let's just as it was, mm -hmm. and then still want to throw the blame game to one person. Mm -hmm. Let's just take it as it was mm -hmm. to Parliament. Mm -hmm. That's a joke. Mm -hmm. That's a joke. Then yes. what's the essence of you agreeing? What's mm -hmm. the essence of you entering into negotiation? That, which is why those said there was no need for negotiation. So if you if you I believe think... if you believe that mm -hmm. you 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 could go into negotiations, mm -hmm. agree on something, mm -hmm. and go to parliament, mm -hmm. then you should input those agreement in the draft and go to parliament. If but, you are committed, but when it gets to parliament, if you are committed, can, if can, can, can this amendment be made by parliamentarians? If you are committed... Can that be done? Can that be done in the parliament? What are you talking about? Like the debate as the director of that? Can it be discussed? No, you see, parliament? you see, these are two things. Mm. Parliament, when they are on session... Mm. I don't have a No, let me comment. It's only the National no, Assembly you, members yeah, who can have 
uh, who really yeah, when, have the powers. When, they said the political actions and political parties. One after the other, sir. Only, when when you ask a question, allow me to finish. Then you ask another one. Mm -hmm. Parliament can always make amendment, mm -hmm. add, mm -hmm. delete, or subtract mm -hmm. any bill before uh, mm -hmm. during the committee of supply, committee yes. of the whole house, mm -hmm. and the owner mm -hmm. of the bill mm -hmm. before going to Parliament mm -hmm. can always put in whatever you want to mm -hmm. and go to Parliament. Ah, okay. So, so now, mm -hmm. if I am not playing, so it's not logical according to it's you. It's not logical. If I'm, is it only, you see, Mr. Cham, nobody should alter it. No, you see, Mr. Cham, mm -hmm. when you when you are not when you don't want things to happen, mm -hmm. and you are negotiating, mm -hmm. you come with a very rigid and, un blocks, and unchangeable blocks. decision <laughs> yes. from one excuse mm -hmm. to <laughs> another. And Some <laughs> parties <laughs> might not agree. Mm -hmm with the time limit mm -hmm. and the 50 plus one votes mm -hmm. and they will use all the clauses mm -hmm. as a scapegoat when it goes to parliament without being altered you mean you know i can i can use the retroactive mm -hmm. as a scapegoat mm -hmm. but meaning i'm not interested in that i might be interested in the 50 percent plus one i may not want that to be in the in uh, the draft okay. So I will use one provision wow. as, as, and also as, as one procedural issues actually, after another. The one I'm not in, yeah. okay. But in fact, I told, I, I've written immediately after the bill was rejected and I show that, you know, the arguments that they were making in terms of the language style and all those things, those were excuses. Sometimes politicians, you know, probably with politicians, but they then all you, claim to be acting in the interest of the country when under this, they are no, really but you, you, no, 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 Cham, it's, it's always politics. most of these people, it's always personal interest first mm -hmm. before national interest. Is it, is that not all politics? I, you are telling me, you are telling me, for example, I am sitting mm -hmm. uh, there is a provision in the, in the constitution mm -hmm. for the past 10 years or so, and I've never challenged it, mm -hmm. and today it affects me, I'm challenging it. and hiding behind the name of national interest. Mm. That's not correct. That's the problem with politicians. Everyone will say national interest when actually on the need. Yeah, they that's what actually see if you are interested are, in if you are interested in the agreement mm. after agreeing on to everything, negotiations and you agreed, mm -hmm. put it in. If but, I, but see I think I think what we need to do here, mm. like there are options. What Doi is proposing is one option. Mm -hmm. uh, what is what the current process that is happening is another option, mm -hmm. and this are, that's why I said it needs political decision and political will to to, to have that. Mm -hmm. But then the, we need to unpack it as well. Mm -hmm. The current process, um, I agree with C the way he mentioned that the minute the National Assembly rejected the bill, the bill does not belong to the National Assembly again. This is my opinion. Mm -hmm. It but it doesn't belong to the executive. It belongs, it belongs to, the, to the it belongs to the people because no. this is a constitution. Yeah, you know, you know, yeah. Martin, let me come in there. Yeah. You know, it belongs to the executive, mm -hmm. the Gambian people. No, I understand what you mean. their powers and authority and the president. Mm -hmm. And the president delegated those responsibilities, some of them, to the executive. No, I understand and that. Now, the, now that bill belongs to the executive by extension, the Gambian people. Mm -hmm. And the Gambian people uh, mandated the president, who is the head of the executive, the bill belongs to the executive. Mm -hmm. And politically, if we are committed to the bill, mm -hmm. we agreed on everything. Then why don't we input it and go to Parliament? No, no, we can. Is it, is it, it, let me, let me. Can, can, we, can I? No, can I? Can, that, can I say that, something? I, I just want to ask. Can I say legal? something? Like in terms of the procedure, of course, Parliament. If if it is a bill, Parliament that have a decision that made their decision can sometimes can rescind their decision if they feel they they made the wrong decision. Since they are the lawmakers, they can they can do that. So that's why I said that's a possible. Uh, procedure that can be taken but then the issues the reason why we are we are disagreeing right now is not about uh, the procedure in itself because people did not even when it's they were voting they did the not care about the procedure but right now since the procedure is also coming into the discussion into the negotiation it must also be there this is my position one following the fact that um, you see constitution also come out of necessity the question that we need to ask ourselves is that do we really need a new constitution and generally we agree that we need a new constitution and so to 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 have that you know of course after agreeing that we need to say okay how do we um, come up with it. That's why in the initial discussion, we say, oh, should we amend the 1997 constitution, expand it, or do we have a new constitution? But then we decided that, okay, let's go for a new constitution. Now we, uh, we got the new constitution, people consulted, it failed. Uh, now, for me, it belongs to the people, and then the people must be part of the process to see how best we can revive. Because now the question is, is the constitution really dead, or is it in coma? Because that debate is also, you know, on the public public forum yeah, yeah. what is dead and what is coma so therefore and i don't and city was asking this question how do we is there any legal framework that shows how we should revive 
uh, a dead bill. Mm -hmm. You know, I think those are issues, those are gaps that we also need to factor. But my proposition is this. Out of the negotiation, you see, if people accept that they have come and said, okay, now we accept uh, the retroactivity to be removed, but the only thing that we want is to ensure that the, the executive is not the one that takes the bill, but let it go to parliament. Parliament, how is it going to go to parliament? If they agree that, okay, we can follow the Halifa Salah uh, procedure, they can resend that bill and then they have, and then it moves to committee no. level and then they discuss that. And parliament, based no. on, no, even the executive can do that. I'm saying that there are many options no, to revive or bring back yes, the bill. Yes, hmm? You see, let's just be honest to ourselves. Mm -hmm. the, the, the draft belongs to the executive. Mm -hmm. This is a political problem. Why the ex uh, consultations will not be uh, uh, more than all the political parties? All the political parties, if we are committed to the process, let's tell Gambians we agreed on to the, everything on the provisions. Mm -hmm. Now, okay, we've agreed. Let's look at the procedure legally if the, it is wrong for the agreement to be inputted in the draft and go to parliament legally or no there is no provision mm -hmm. that would tell you that you cannot the executive cannot insert agreement by all political party into their bill and present it before parliament you see as an executive you go and draft you get your document and take it to parliament Parliament also can also amend, delete, add. Mm -hmm. If we are committed to, we are not interested in frustrating this process. Mm -hmm. What we agree on, let the Minister of Justice input it, and let's look at it to make sure that that was our agreement. We look at it, validated it in one 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 hour or two hours. Okay, let's go to those provisions to see whether it really reflected and represented the truth of what we have agreed on, and then from there we go to Parliament. Because either way, it's not illegal. Mm -hmm. So if you don't want to frustrate, and if you don't want to shift the bill, so are you here, suggesting that uh, even if it gets to Parliament, there is still a possibility that the MPs can still insist that this clause remain? Parliament will have to it, do their job. Either way, they have to. You see, it. you see, the work of Parliament. Mm. We are not. Let's leave it to them. That's the Parliament. We let's leave it to Parliament. But what we, you know, we well, all know the there was a standard. Has, the government all, you want to say the government always had the right to say this part of this is not good, this what is good, this is what we do, and then you take it to the parliament to... Like, go, government, yeah. government reserves the right, mm -hmm. and a private member also reserves the, the right, right to present your own document, your own bill to parliament. Mm -hmm. The parliament also is their inherent rights mm -hmm. to either amend, mm -hmm. delete, accept, or reject. Mm -hmm. That is clear, but I think, I think also we are not only talking about a bill, we are talking about a constitution. Mm -hmm. And we agree that the discussions are about give and take. Mm -hmm. This is where I'm coming exactly. in. Exactly. If, if at the negotiation one say, okay, this is the only reason why I'm not going to move, mm -hmm. but if I decided to move, then I want this thing on the table. Mm -hmm. I mean, people need to give and take. That's the political discussion that we are talking about. You see, but at the end of the day, no, let me, let me just see, say that. How yeah. parliament address, parliament, the bill cannot... We cannot have a law right now or new constitution without it going to the parliament. Mm -hmm. But then the other question is how it is going to get to parliament, parliament. whether it should be touched or not touched. Yes. Because one of the things that I don't agree with, you see, right now we are in 21, 2021. Mm -hmm. This bill that was brought in was in 20, uh, 2020. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you're going to introduce it now, you have to change the date. Somebody yeah. must touch something somewhere. That needs to be also on the table. Exactly. So we need to. So why didn't the government do that until now before it went to parliament? No, you know, because uh, uh, the standoff was as a reason of political differences. Huh? So the standoff uh -huh. was as a result of political differences by political parties. Uh -huh. So you needed people to come together uh -huh. and then discuss. Why didn't they agree. feel the need for that before it went to parliament? Or, or they are on the, legally they are, they are, they are on the uh, obligation to send it to parliament in a uh, time frame? No, you know, of course they have to send it to parliament and then there are process and procedures. Mm. They also, they don't want to just to send it again as it is, uh, you know, to, uh, to oh, venture well, into a futile... Not, is it not, as critics would say, always been the agenda of the government to mastermind its defeat and then bring it back and take this, no, this route they want? No, 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 no. You know, you know, this government uh, is not represented in parliament. Mm. Mm. Well, that's what you, they would yeah. but we saw MPs who are really sympathetic to the government. I mean, well, well, we saw MPs. The president is right no, to no, say that no. I have no 
No, I we saw no, no. I have no MPs in the parliament. That's correct. No, we saw MPs. But then we saw people sympathizing them in the parliament. No, 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 no. That's not correct. We saw MPs from other different political parties uh, voted against. Well, the that's true. But we in saw the, in the in the name of national interest. But others saw, also who voted in. MPs. Others also who voted in favor say in the but in the we, national interest. But we saw MPs who particularly pick this retroactive clause as their excuse for dumping. You see, Lamin. So, so you cannot argue. You see, Lamin. That my there party, are not MPs who are allied you, to the you, president. You see, agenda. you That's see, la, you see, Lamin. Mm. Putting the card before the horse. Gabo got a casaret. Gane Mbambi of first with Gana or Lamoneka. Okay. Sare be neka sikanam. Let us tell. Let Gambian ask political parties mm. to tell us their position mm. as for the contentious issues. Mm whether they agree or not. That's it. You see, no, let me come in. No, let me, let me come in. Mm -hmm. You cannot tell me Sarah B. Nanko Yobusi Kanam Bala Nyo Taka Bambi. Go and agree. Tell us whether you've agreed or not. Agree first. Mm -hmm. Then we sit down and look at the procedures. Process. Legally, whether those process or procedures we want to take, they are backed by law or they are against by law. When you do that, Gambian would know that you are committed to the process. You are not committed to frustrating the process. You have Actually, not agreed. We cannot. We cannot. You, we cannot you, you, have, you have not agreed. No, you are telling me. No, you have not agreed. Mm. You are telling me the procedures of introducing the bill. No, no, no. That needs but to be counted. The question can always be That needs to be counted as well. The procedure must be counted. No, if, la according to you, the government is, is discommitted. No, Lamin, the why, process. Why you in see, the first place? Said Mati, all mm -hmm. these process or procedures mm -hmm. are backed by law. They are legal. Then why are you insisted? You are saying no, I will not accept this to happen. But then see you see there are two arguments here. Mm -hmm. One is saying the, and, and this is the argument that I keep saying and I have been arguing with Texani and others on you know that there's the executive way and there is the parliamentary way. Mm -hmm. I mean, for me, there is only one way, the way to have a new constitution, if you ask me really. And there are people that are saying we should leave this uh, until maybe next government to, um, you know, to take it over. But even in legal, the legal aspect that he is talking about, now we are seeing two different procedural aspects. It's should, who's going to introduce the bill. That's another argument that needs to be addressed no, as well. No, that is not an argument. Who's going to introduce the bill is the Attorney General and Minister of Justice. Okay. Who decide that? That's the question. You see, that right now... The, that is the executive. I am telling you, you see, Sir Madi, I'm not sure whether you understand what I understand what he said. No, you see, Sir Madi, no, the point is, mm -hmm. this is a political issues. All the political parties should come together and agree on one thing. I agree. I agree. Now, all the political parties agreed, but one. Now, if you are telling me, I'm not sure what is the position of the UDP, if you're telling me the UDP is saying they disagreed with the uh, proce process or procedure, mm -hmm. This Gambian should ask them, or journalists, whether they have agreed on those issues that were on the table for negotiation or not. Mm. Now, if they agree, then we have now giantly moved from one step to the final step okay. of the do proceeding. You, do you think there are hidden agendas? Like, for example, the UDP may be interested in uh, the present constitution, which provides for simple majority. You think they are more comfortable with that than absolute majority in the new one? So that may be the reason. But then they cling on about to this one. about ninety nine percent of the UDPians believe in that. They believe in that. They believe in that. So you mean that? And uh, oh. as some put it, yeah, I'm, I'm now getting him. As some put it yeah, straight. No, I'm not talking about the talks. I mean the yeah, this, this is not so, about the talks. So, that, so, so you as mean, as someone put it, mm -hmm. I am a party leader, mm -hmm. and I believe President Barrow won't win. I'm going to win the next election. Mm -hmm. Why do I target President Adam Abaro? Mm -hmm. It's as good as putting his name in the draft to say mm -hmm. President Abaro don't yeah. contest 2021 because mm -hmm. I am so I'm going to defeat him. Mm -hmm. So therefore, my party and my supporters mm -hmm. are of the view that the retroactive is bad. Mm -hmm. It's targeting individual exponent. Mm -hmm. One political party, two political party, three, you name them, a lot of political parties. That's their argument. Mm -hmm. They say they have no problem with the retroactive mm -hmm. because they are committed towards so the process. I, I also now, mm -hmm. if somebody is telling me, UDP, also you knew that 50 plus 1 percent they are going to win mm -hmm. why be laboring on the retroactive okay so you believe the hidden agenda might be they prefer the simple majority you know uh, to uh, absolute majority so that might be their concern and not necessarily how this draft etc but i had also say Bala was here he said the i don't know what is the NPP position on that he said there are provisions in the constitution which cleared because you know he had this belief that the constitution was tailor-made to clear that or anybody convicted of anything 
uh, you know, not been able to contest. He said that. You see, the, what is the NPP's position on the that position now? of the National People's Party. No, what's, is, what's, what's, what has that come up? The position of the National People's no, Party has that, is has that we are. First question. You but, know, this but, not, this, you have now. You no, no, this is not yes or no. You ask question. Allow me to comment. Yeah, yeah. The position of the National People's Party yeah. is not to bar any Gambian. Not to ban any Gambian. To bar any Gambian from, from, contest. from contesting elections. Ah, okay. We want to uh, ensure that people are free to exercise their democratic right, okay. either to be vote for or to be voted in. Okay. So for us. We will not be labeled be on, on, on petty personal issues. Oh, you know, a, that's a good you know, on the you know let me comment. No, let me comment. Let me comment. <laughs> you see, when you look at the explanatory note mm. and the report of the CRC, mm. they said over 80% of Gambians mm. want the, the introduction of an upper age limit. Absolutely. That's what they said yeah. in their report. Mm -hmm. But in the draft, mm -hmm. they decided to remove the upper age limit. Mm -hmm. And some people are claiming that. Um, UDP. In fact, we saw Mr. Dabo, he was on air to state that on eco vocally, if he is not given a clean bill of health by the draft constitution, his MPs will block it in parliament. President Barrow is not interested in personal agenda, in personal fight, he's interested in the country. And our position is all these personal that's things. A, that's we, a big concession. The part oh, of I am telling you, part of the. I because NPP, NPP saying here, no, right? the NPP is committed to giving Gambians a new constitution. Ah. Therefore, anything that seemingly, any provision, mm -hmm. seemingly to be targeting an individual, ah, they wouldn't we would not ah, engage yeah, That's a good compromise because that was. The but this is what every political party is saying. Yes, that's huh? a good that's, compromise. That's what all the other political parties just the they same all thing stated equivocally. Mm -hmm. That this provision, retroactive provision, is targeting President Adam Barrow personally. That's it, that's they it. are not in the. I'm, I'm, I'm saying that every political point. party saying that they are willing to, you know, expand the democratic rights of this country. No, I no. mean that's the basis that everyone. No, agrees. but then everybody but knows what we are having. No, see, what? No, yeah, Madi, let me comment. He did make a good point. Madi, let me comment. Uh -huh. Madi, let me comment. All the other political parties on the issue of retroactive uh -huh. also were there. They stated it that is. they stated that their parties are not interested in engaging into personal fight they are looking for gambia and they think that provision is personally attacking an individual in fact some indicated that they are worried if you want to embed a clause that will target an individual in our draft if some or anybody come to power they might put in clauses in either the constitution or other bill and act of parliament targeting individuals and that's worrisome good i think that's a good point um, i mean because in the in the when the whole thing started we we are told by NPP officials that the draft was tailor-made to ensure that Davo or anybody who is convicted can, you know, can contest the election. So now, if they are saying that that's no longer a problem, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's that's clear. A yeah. The interest yeah. of the nation. That's what we want to. We want to move. That's forward. a good concession. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, somebody was asking, you know, the issues on the negotiation table. I think we have. No, that. That is no I, I wouldn't go into You don't want to say that exactly. No. But they are, they, are, they, are, they, are, they are basically summarized as one, how the constitution can go back to parliament. You didn't agree No, that. that was not an issue on the table. That was just raised by an individual. Okay, so but it, is this now so you know, the issue it on is the table is some of those clauses and provisions in the draft. Those are the and objectives. all those provisions and these things were accepted by all the political parties. Except the UDP. Except one political party that did not agree you on did one. did not say UDP. Now the UDP themselves have come out. If you yeah, say I will name them, they have come out now. They, so it's only no, the I am not. I am not scared to name anybody. You see, but the government, you see, process, you know, I, 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 I represented the National People's Party, that mm -hmm. President Adam Barrow's party. Mm -hmm. And then we are committed to the process. Okay. We, we will not engage into any argument mm -hmm. or any public statement mm -hmm. that might derail or people will use it as an opportunity oh, to, 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 to chicken out. Okay, to chicken we, out. Uh, uh, so you have been. That's yes, for a t shirt. <laughs> <laughs> in this process Chicken out, okay uh, yeah. uh, what we can do now um, so, uh, I mean we know that the problem now it has to do with uh, uh, the resubmission in Parliament no no that is not the problem no no yes. no the problem is the retroactivity I think that's the only problem you see that's the only problem you see you see that's not the only no, problem no 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 let me come in he was in Abuja no let me come in you see um said Matthew you are, an you are an intellectual mm -hmm. and you are a political science uh, mm -hmm. expert. Mm -hmm. 
there are a group of politicians in the Gambia who want to use anything that they could to use it as a scapegoat mm -hmm. to just to and so that Gambian don't get a new constitution. Mm -hmm. But I am telling you, the issue is the retroactive. Okay. That, that's what I'm telling you. But I'm saying that that's not the only issue now. That is the only issue. issue. The only you see, there is two processes that are going. Before, no, no, I understand what he's saying. I understand that that's the disagreement right now. But what I'm saying that what I'm saying is this: yes, retroactivity is the main issue. Whether we should have the constitution back or not. That's what, where the decision needs to be taken. But then, even after agreeing on that, you come on. You cannot have the constitution to just come by itself. It has to go through a process. And now, if no, that process. After, no, after agreeing legally, mm -hmm. the yeah. Minister of Justice will present it. With but then, but you know, no, see wait, what I'm trying no, to. Wait, wait. Those are just flimsy excuses. Mm -hmm. No, no. Once no. we agreed as a party mm -hmm. to input, the, to agreed, once we agree on everything. Mm -hmm. Then they are sanctioned by the chief executive officer. Mm -hmm. uh, the minister of justice will start the process of taking into parliament following due process. Mm -hmm. you, you, and this you, time he will defend it. I hope. No, he talked about the, the fact last that time he was accused of being like a this girl about it. No, no he was, see, there's, there's one thing. No, he, he no, he, no, he really defended it last oh. time. Oh, he did. He? Oh, he did. Of course, he did. I've never had better say anything. Well, I, I, people say, he but was, the point. Well, they are very, no, they are very lukewarm. No, they are entitled to their opinion. Mm. He, he was mandated by the constitution to present it. Oh, well, he sat there and look at the process. He did not. No, 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 he like, like others would have done. No, he made no, no, he made his submission. Finance Minister Mambore will come and. No, he made his. I mean, I was there. I keep arguing. No, this. I was there two days. He, I know that the minister, the minute he got, he was not gonna get anything. No, the attorney general is not the minister. No, the attorney general made his submission. He did not make any effort uh, to show that the community... What, what was the, effort, like, the, the bill that died on arrival. Yeah. I kept arguing for this because I was there two days. I've seen what was happening there. Mm -hmm. I met people and all those things. <laughs> so I don't know how the minister can... But the problem that I... The one issue that I wanted to tell CD is that... You see... No, I tell Gambian, not CD. I'm, you know, we are here. Yeah. Because he did talk about the fact that I'm a political analyst and all those things. Mm -hmm. And so what I do, I looked at what everyone is trying to say. Mm -hmm. You know, there are different positions right now as to how we revive the constitution. Mm -hmm. And those, whether it is the procedure, whether the interactivity, the negotiations must also encompass all these different viewpoints in order to ensure that we agree at a particular point. Sure. Sure. My interest, I will keep repeating, mm -hmm. I want a new constitution before 2020 election mm -hmm. because it is what is best for this country. Fantastic. You know? Now, um, <clears throat> just to conclude, um, would you think it will be necessary, like I said before, or it may help the pro process if President if President Jonathan uh, arrive here in March, for President Barrow to himself avail himself and be present in the negotiations, you think that will not help? No, would you, you know, advise him? No, you know, um, the negotiation as uh, on our part, mm. uh, we've made a lot of would he be willing to do good, it? Good, good will and right. there is no bottlenecks on our side. Yeah, exactly, but and on all the political parties. So therefore. Mm. Uh, for me, but uh, if this one, one, you know, one move. No, you know when if, if he's required you know, to if do it was, if, if, if one move, you see, just if, to get help the process, no, you see, if, to come and go to the table. You see, if we were all stuck mm -hmm. on our various positions, I mean, all the political parties, mm -hmm. but everybody, uh, generally there was consensus, but only one party. Mm -hmm. So f it's, but without it's, this party, you cannot help. You cannot yeah, then therefore now, the therefore now that party, go back to the blame therefore the now that the party, the the therefore now. Yeah. Is that party that is standing mm. uh, on the on the way of Gambians' yeah. interests? I mean, see, I will not. I will not. No, let me finish. No, let me finish. Said Mati, let me finish. Everybody has their own. No, let me finish. Let me finish. I mean, you need to. No, let me finish. Said Mati. You see, the civil society, the Gambian people, they should go to that political party and encourage them to <laughs> come up with their position. So what is wrong with President Barrow going to that party? No, I am not saying that is wrong, but what I'm telling I'm you is... The, will he be willing no, to you be? see, during the negotiations, yeah. at the, it was during the crucial moment of the negotiation, mm -hmm. President Barrow was represented by uh, Ost. Mm -hmm. Of course, I was there with uh, the Minister for Lands and Regional Government, mm -hmm. and then the whole, during the whole process, like I said, so we, comes to, you know, I'm telling you, you and know. then we've moved on from one step to another yes. and to Abuja, where we had all the political parties, including NPP, agreeing on one side, mm -hmm. and we have only one party now. Now the earnest is on that political party mm -hmm. to change, because from the beginning of the talks, mm -hmm. they are only stuck mm -hmm. on one position to the second, third, 
the for negotiation and i hope they will change good so <laughs> I had to eat a lot of eggs and <laughs> okay that's about it in the brunch this week I'm Lamin Cham and thanking the Honorable Sidi Njai and Seth Matijau until we come back next week goodbye Communication, connectivity is everything. We ensure that the links never sleep. Quantities and qualities, all in our data service, providing efficient, reliable voice and data service. We believe if you're not up to speed, then you're going backwards. Communications have to flow as fast as the speed of light. Whatever business you're in, having someone who understands your needs is critical. That is why we just don't offer you technology, we offer you solutions. Enjoy Gamsel's internet broadband anytime, anywhere. Your national operator, Gamsel Yaibarom. All your pastry, bakery, and quality food, CK Restaurant is the only place to be. We do catering for birthdays, weddings, and all related services. We have all kinds of local foods, American, European, and even beyond. Come and have a taste of our local juice, ebay and other services. At CK Restaurant, customer satisfaction is our priority. We live in a day and age where technology is creating a world without borders filled with unlimited potential to improve the lives of the people around us. Innovarex Global Health ushers in a new way of leveling the playing field with increased access to quality healthcare services delivered at your doorstep. Our qualified professionals are equipped with state-of-the-art point-of-care testing technology to conduct tests such as kidney function, liver function, electrolyte tests, body composition, hemoglobin, A1C, and many more services with the highest efficiency in delivering results. The addition to our flagship Wellness on Wheels, more fondly known as WOW Delivery Service, brings the entire clinical experience full circle. IGH has remained committed to creating the future of healthcare delivery. Gone are the days of sending loved ones outside the country for basic medical services. Innovarex Global Health offers a new peace of mind and takes pride in delivering the quality of care we all deserve.